Hey everyone, welcome back to day number two of my fave weight loss hacks for 2019. If you missed yesterday's, you can find it wherever you're listening to this one, either podcast, YouTube, or my website, karenmartel.com forward slash hacks. And you can listen to yesterday's. All right. So today's number two weight loss hack for 2019 is detox detox estrogen out of the body. So this is one that you may not have thought of before. And I see it as being the most important thing a woman can do, especially if you're in between the ages of 30 and 45, 50, somewhere in there, that's a time where I see a lot of women have estrogen dominance in their body. So when you get, when I test women for their hormones or women go and get their hormones tested, it's one of the number one dysfunctions that I see on the hormone panel. So you can test your hormones uh, with a functional medicine practitioner. You can also buy hormone kits right off of my website, karenmartel.com. Um, forward slash hormone kits and you can just you can do it in the comfort of your own home so if you're wondering if this is something that you could be suffering with and you want to know for sure whether or not you are then I highly recommend getting them prop getting it properly tested with a saliva based hormone kit so check it out uh, in the meantime I'm going to tell you guys what the symptoms are for hormone uh, dominant or estrogen dominance inside your body. So signs and symptoms would be, of course, horrible PMS. So I find that it definitely tends to be kind of an angry PMS when there's too much estrogen. It can last for definitely more than three or four days. You're looking at maybe a week plus for PMS symptoms. Uh, endometriosis, fibroids are all signs of too much estrogen. Weight on your hips, your butt, your thighs are also signs of estrogen dominance where you just, you can't lose weight and you have this excess in those areas. So that as well as the weight loss resistance. So you're doing what you can to lose weight. You're eating a paleo diet, you're eating a ketogenic diet, but your body's not letting go of the weight. All right. So that's a big sign that there's some hormone dysfunction in there and it could be that it's estrogen dominance. Okay. Um, some other things here, low libido, water retention, definitely. Um, so that's puffiness, right? Where you just feel really puffy, tender breasts, um, fibrocystic breasts. So that's usually before the period where you'll get lumpy, um, swollen breasts, tender to the touch. Uh, PCOS can be a sign that you have too much estrogen in the body, mood swings, depression, anxiety, Infertility can be one too because usually with too much estrogen comes too little progesterone and when there's too little progesterone, it can cause infertility. So it's definitely something to check out. Um, and another one is accelerated aging. So you'll find that, well, you're getting old fast and you've got, you know, the, maybe your skin, skin tone is changing. You find you're getting more wrinkles, that kind of thing. It can also be a sign of estrogen dominance and estrogen dominance is something that's extremely common right now in North America because we have so much in our environment that mimics estrogen in our body. And that's called xenoestrogens. I had did a great interview with a guy that wrote Estro Generation is the book. And I definitely, if you feel like this is something you're suffering with, go check out that episode. I'll put the link in these show notes so you can go check it out because he's brilliant and he's researched the heck out of this, out about all the stuff that's in our environment that is mimicking estrogen in our body. And it will shock you how much there is. There's almost no way to get away from it all, which is why I always suggest to women, if they're having those symptoms, to detox the est those bad estrogens out of their body to help establish better balance with those hormones because it will be a lifesaver when it comes to being able to lose weight. Okay, so 
First off, detox your home. So this is huge. You want to get rid of any sort of synthetic smells out of the house. We are, you know, every product you buy off the shelf right now contains perfumes. So the Febreze, the candles, the little things that you plug in the walls, the air scent stuff, Scentsy. Um, women are crazy about Scentsy and it just makes me cringe because of the horrible chemicals that are in them and what they're doing to your body. It's crazy. So those, even your shampoo, your conditioner, your cleaning products, all are just full of estrogen mimicking chemicals inside of them. So as much as you can, you want to detox and move to something natural. You want to switch everything into a naturally perfumed scent. So it has to be something that's an essential oil base. You want to get rid of all of the parabens out of the, the products, right? The shampoos and stuff are all full of parabens. Your, your lotions for your skin, the makeup you put on your face, all have sunscreen, all of these things are full of parabens and other chemicals that will mimic estrogen in your body and make you fat and infertile and all of those really fun things right now that we're facing as women. All right, so clean all that up. Do not wear perfume that has that is like off the shelf chemical laden perfume. Make your own with essential oils. That's what I do. I even make my own cream. It's pretty simple. But you can buy all that stuff nowadays from your health food store. It's pretty easy now to find it. So as much as you can do, detox the home. Buy organic because pesticides themselves will mim mimic estrogen in the body. Uh, I always say go look at the Dirty Dozen Clean 15 list. You can just Google that. And it's a list that comes out from the health organization every year that tells us the, the dirtiest of the produce that you buy off the shelf that are the highest in pesticides and also what are the cleanest so that you there's some that you don't need to bother buying organic because it can get expensive because they don't have a lot of they don't have pesticides on them or they have very little uh, for instance nuts right because they're in a seed you don't have to be buying those organic coconut oil you don't need to buy that organic so there's different things that will have a higher amount than others. So go check it out when you can buy organic. Okay. Um, skip the grains, of course. And if you're listening to me, you're probably following a paleoketogenic diet. But if you're not and you're listening to this, skip the grains. I highly recommend doing paleoketogenic diets. They're easy to follow. They're not a diet. They're more of a lifestyle. Uh, it's something sustainable for life and they don't have grains in them. And I say this because grains are highly toxic. They're sprayed with chemicals. They usually tend to be GMO. Even in the silos that they're kept in, they, there's a mold that is created inside the silos that mimic estrogen. And these are packed with them, okay? So just skip the grains, helps with weight loss, helps with inflammation, helps with your gut, helps with your skin. So there's really no need for them anyways, okay? All right. Um, another one, increase progesterone. So this will help to counteract that high estrogen. And I've seen it work really well for a period of time, kind of while you're cleaning up all those other areas in your life of estrogen. You can put a little bit of bioidentical progesterone in, and that will help to just balance things out for a little while and help with the weight to come off for a lot of women, especially if you're putting the efforts in and can just help with PMS. It can help with sleeping at nighttime, can help with your sex drive. It's, you know, it's one of those things that we lose very quickly as we start to hit perimenopause. So, you know, 35 and up, our progesterone starts to drop while our estrogen will start, will usually stay pretty high until we're quite a ways into perimenopause. So bumping up that progesterone can really help and is a, a nice little band-aid for a while. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so another one, liver cleanse, cleansing the liver because their liver is what's going to be the one to handle all of this excess estrogens, the toxic ones especially, right? Like those are the ones that are going to be putting such a burden on your liver. And if your liver is not functioning well, your metabolism isn't going to be functioning well. Your digestive system is not going to be functioning well. So you want 
to make sure that you're doing a liver cleanse, you know, four times a year minimum. If you're somebody that drinks often, you're going to want to support it even more. Or if you're not detoxifying your environment, even more and just taking something, you know, on a regular basis that's going to support your liver will help with the estrogen dominance. Okay. We have our yearly liver gallbladder cleanse coming up in the on track group right now. It starts January 7th. So if you're listening to this prior to it, then you can hop on board and take part in the liver gallbladder weight loss challenge that we have going on there. And that's at karenmartel.com forward slash on track. Uh, okay. And an estrogen cleanse. So taking things that will help bind to those that excess estrogen and pull it out of the body. So these will include things like calcium deglucurate, which will actually help your body, your gut to break down the estrogen in your gut and take it out of the system. So that's extremely important. If you have bad gut health, your body's not going to be able to get rid of that estrogen very well. All right. So calcium deglucurate, once again, all the liver stuff will help to detox the estrogen. Um, D DIM, it's called D-I-M, D-indole methane is an amazing one that will bind to those um, estrogens and pull it out of the body. So if you're suffering with all those PMS symptoms and this estrogen dominance, finding a product that kind of has a few of these things is usually what I recommend. Um, AOR has a really good one. It's called Estro, uh, I'll put the link in, in the show notes. I can't remember right off the top of my head. Um, I think it's Orth Estro. I think it's just called Estro. But yes, put the, I'll put the link in the show notes. And the, another one is by Lorna Vanderhog. She does one called Estro Smart uh, and Estro Smart Plus. Both of those are excellent. They both have the DIM in them. They've got calcium deglucurate. They've got Vitex, which is really helpful for increasing progesterone. So either one of those, if not, you can just use the, get the cheat sheet that is on my site for this. And in the cheat sheet, we'll have a list of the supplements that you can use to detox the estrogen. Okay. All right. And then gut health, which we just kind of went over, but you just want to make sure that your gut is up to par, that you have good, lots of good of the good bacteria in there, that everything's running smoothly. And so if you're having problems with your gut health, like you're, you're, you're bloated, you've got constipation, you've got diarrhea, then dig into that farther and really just figure out if there's some sort of gut infection in there that needs to be cleared up because that in, in a, in and of itself, when you clear it up, will help with the detoxification of the estrogen. All right, so that is today's weight loss hack. Uh, like I said, you can go get the download the cheat sheet off my website at karenmartel.com forward slash hack. All right, we'll see you again tomorrow.